Okay, I'm a firefighter, um, been in Merseyside Fire Service for 25 years now. Um, based at a few different stations within Liverpool. Uh, and basically I just answered um, an advert in, in the Liverpool Echo for the job, um, passed all the tests, and uh, yeah, I've been a firefighter ever since. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously the, some jobs are worse than others. Um, you know, we have dead bodies, but you know we've had rescues as well. You know, so uh, you know, rescued a few people out of fires. But we go to that many different jobs. You know, they all tend to blend into each other. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm seconded to the training school and I'm a fitness advisor for the fire service so we have fitness standards for all the firefighters um, and any firefighters that don't meet the standards either fitness wise or weight management wise I help them uh, develop a program to meet the fitness standards so that's the job that I do at the moment so I'm on days at the training school doing that. Yeah, so there's two of us in Merseyside. Um, we work together from the training school. So we cover Liverpool, Knowsley, Whittle, and out to St. Helens. Well, predominantly we, we train with the operational fire fighters. Um, that's our main role. But also we do work with some community groups uh, sometimes. We, uh, we do circuit training with the kids in schools and it helps you know, get the message across about fire safety in a fun way as well. So we do a little bit of fitness with them. Yeah, so I've been, I've been cycling about the same length of time as I've been in the fire service. Um, I raced at quite a good amateur level back in the 90s. And they have a, a, a world championship for the fire service, which I won in 1993 in uh, France. And that was probably the biggest race that I've won. Yeah, so obviously as I'm getting older, I'm racing less and I'm trying to give a little bit back. So I did my coaching qualification, level three cycling coach. And yeah, I help quite a lot of the local riders now to improve their fitness and get better on the bike. Um, well, apart from enjoying your training, I think the one thing a lot of people don't get right is the nutrition. So, you know, if, you, if you're not putting the right food in, you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be getting the right sort of energy and, and recovery. So, yeah, I'd say look at your diet and make sure that the food you're eating from a healthy point of view as well. Well, a lot of people do sports science path now so you can get a, a degree in sports science and then you can specialize in different areas so you can do you can become a strength and conditioning coach which you know all the all the big clubs you know of all sports have strength and conditioning coaches now um, or you could you could specialize in different areas sports psychology nutrition there's loads of different areas now but uh, yeah i think getting the sports science degree first will be the, uh, the most important thing